for the class now and uh, then this is the issue here is uh, gentlemen ladies that we are always worried about such happenings happening to us and we always feel that we are immune but it doesn't happen uh, things can go wrong and even if you don't do anything things do go wrong in life you are the uh, clinical director or you are the center head or something will go wrong and you'll get roped into this there are so many people working with you one wrong form filled or wrong uh, consents taken can put us put us into problem that's the way of life but at least we should know where we can get caught so this baby on the new year day can be very very angry let's look at it in case something goes wrong and uh, that's the way with the day of dna fingerprinting as i told you we spent around 10 hours with the new batches uh, dr ashwin i can see sipping her coffee uh, 10 ghante lagate hain iske upar now now do still we get caught in the medical legal things so let's get into it and understand it and uh, wish you a very happy new year all of you guys and you now as i move ahead uh, for the class uh, we find that art is growing leaps and bounds and the amount of uh, money being spent in the in, into art is going up every day you'll find find new hospitals being op- opened up new clinics coming up new uh, corporate chains coming up so art is the future and art would be the big future till 2026 and then i feel after 2026 art will stabilize <clears throat> there are few numbers which i feel uh, which i normally show to people <clears throat> we'll be doing around 15 lakh iui cycles per year now these are entirely my numbers the numbers may be go up and down these are my numbers we don't have exact numbers in our country but around 15 lakh iui cycles will be done in the coming 3 to 4 years and for ivf we anticipate around 5.5 lakh cycles from 2.5 lakh cycles <coughs> this is a basic number <coughs> which would be there <coughs> in the coming few years <coughs> so now the people are working doing a phenomenal job but only issue which we get stuck is that the whole practice has been unregulated unregulated and at at ic it from now nearly 2 years we have been taking through a journey of how the guidelines are evolving not only in india but with the um, hfea esrm bfs and uh, ashray how they are evolving we have been following them we also to teach our people how they have evolved in our country and today in the next 45 minutes i'll take you through this journey of around 10 hours in around 40 45 minutes i'll be focusing more on 2021 act than anything else so the whole journey the journey started in somewhere in year 2000 and this journey has been started by dr r s sharma from uh, icmr journey was started and journey has completed the circle in 2021 we'll see what all happened as dr arya sharma evolved the guidelines in our country with help of various bodies but let's see how it evolved uh, over period of nearly 21 years so in case we go back this is uh, the journey here involves the x you know the x are less in number they are fixed in number and so this always the uh, the problem to get x in our country in case we need a donor uh, oocytes and the whole of <coughs> art bills and acts are primarily <coughs> also handling in a big way art banks which will give you the x and sperms or embryos in the as envisaged in the future in any form so art banks have to play a very important role as we we are working here and then a lot of movies have brought in a lot of insights into our minds it's a very nice movie on surrogacy which came a uh, few days back there's a movie like good news which has shown people that there there can be error suckering the movie on surrogacy called i think uh, mini told people how surrogacy things can go wrong and then uh, these are few clips which are more roaming around here and there people uh, achieving pregnancy at elderly age probably then losing their lives later uh, lakhome ek wiki donor also created a lot of 
conflict in her mind that was happening in her country. <clears throat> then some people wanted to take some, we want to take X from somebody, want to take funds from somebody, and it becomes sort of a third party reproduction, which is unregulated. <clears throat> As we always tell people in, in our family that we have something called TPR, and TPR when it becomes unregulated, Third party regulation, when it becomes unregulated, it becomes a bad law. This we have spoken all the time. So before I move ahead, a small glimpse in, uh, I spend around one hour explaining this to our teams, but here I only take one or two minutes maximum that whenever we talk about any guidelines in the country, the guidelines can be very, very primarily in the form of rules. This is the first way uh, the rules are made to guide us. The rules are made and then these rules, but these rules have got no power to punish. This means that this, I'll come to a thing called chapter six very now, very soon. Something called chapter five, sorry. Something called chapter five. And then we have chapter six about which I'll be talking to you about at length. Uh, so these two chapters are not there. There are rules. Chapter five is about offense and penalties. With the rules, there are no offense and penalties at home or wherever you're working. Chapter 6 means some rules, how to do the work. So these chapters are not there. But as it becomes regulation, law and act, now these are being approved by the cabinet. And then it goes to Lok Sabha, it goes to Rajya Sabha, then comes back to the cabinet and then it becomes an act and then it comes out as a law. So when it becomes a law, that's the time chapter 5 and chapter 6 are invoked. There we have terms like contravention. So when we come to an act, we have things like contravention. This means that in case you break, in case we break deregulation, we can be punished. And the punishment can be in terms of uh, closure of our unit. It can be a fine. It can be some sort of probably a jail or uh, the fine can be very heavy till 25 lakh rupees. So a clinic can be sealed up. People can come and check our clinic. So these are the, when it becomes an act, it becomes, it is done, ruled by the government. And then in case we break it, it becomes a contravention. So all uh, the people, I think we can see 291 people who have logged in till now. This is one number which is uh, blipping on my screen. Thank you so much, all of you. I can't see actually, I really can't see all of you, but I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for joining in this new year. It's a huge number, 293 now. So rules, regulations are the, the main difference between the two I've told you. Regulations and acts means contravention can put us into trouble. This you have to know. So we cannot afford to break them. So how the journey started and this journey, I keep talking to Dr. Sharma many times and uh, we have learning from them, from ICMR. The first document in this country on the ICMR regulations came up in year 2005. Just taking you through, see, in case you want to learn the future, you have to know the history. 2005, everything started. Huge, huge, um, there's a document made which has taken nearly now 16 years to come on the ground and to become an act. So they were all some sort of uh, regulation guidelines which were made and uh, they didn't have the power of contravention and chapter five could not be evoked. So when we talk about these guidelines, uh, then uh, I just take you through in, uh, in very few words about the chapters which come into play. So any guidelines will normally have uh, with me and try to understand what I'm trying to tell you. And this chapter is on definition. Chapter one, am I audible now? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. No, sometimes, no, no, no. sometimes I'm writing. I move away, away from screen. I apologize for that. So chapter one. See, when you want to refer to these guidelines, which I'll be sending to you, I'll send you multiple guidelines now in next one hour. You have to know from where to read. So chapter one is the one which you have to read. 
that has all definitions. Is about boards which will be set up in the country. The government is going to set up central government and the state government will set up boards with for ART clinics. There will be for clinic, banks, and surrogates. There will be state boards and there will be national boards. All will be set up very soon, within few few weeks, and they'll work along with the central government, along with ICM. And then the constitution is not clear to us till now, but very soon will be by three four days. I think I'm sure we're gonna get what government is doing. The number two is about the board, how they are being set up. So read about the boards. Chapter three is about the procedures for registration. Now, when the boards are made up, we have to register ourselves with the government of India in any format. What government says, we do want to do that. Chapter three is important for you. So chapter two, you not very important. Chapter one is important. Chapter three is important. So I'll be telling you again and again. After 15 days, I'm going to have another curtain laser. After all the guidelines are in place, I'm going to talk to you about the things again. Then important for you is chapter four, which are the duties, which are the duties of clinic and the bank. Now, this is the most important chapter which you have to read. And chapter 5, must read, is Offense and Penalties. Where in case something goes wrong, how to, what all can happen to us, it is written there. And chapter 6, not important, this is called a miscellaneous chapter. A miscellaneous chapter will have all the rules which are being made to apply these things on the ground. So now the government is working on chapter 6. They have made everything. They have made till chapter 5. Chapter 6 they are working on and very soon they will give you what all, what all are the constitutions, what all, all the terminologies mean. So I feel that in case you start, I will be sending you, our team will send you very quickly a lot of good documents. And out of things that you can And then you must read chapter 4. To start with, these two are important for you. Uh, chapter 2, hold on. Chapter 3, hold on. So you are not audible. I am saying start reading from chapter 1. Read chapter 1. Read chapter 4. Chapter 1, chapter 4, start reading now. Chapter 2 and 3 and chapter 6 you can leave. And then after you have read chapter... You have read, when you have read chapter 1, you have read chapter 4... Read about chapter 5. So these three chapters you guys have to read. Am I audible to you? Can you... all hear me? Yes, sir. I'm repeating all of you. Thank you so much. Read yes, chapter sir. 1, 4, yes. 5. Otherwise, you'll become confused. So much of things are there, you'll become confused. So, chapter 1, 4, 5 are important. So, we'll be sending you all these things in the coming uh, few minutes. So, then after 2005 came chapter, uh, became 2010. Again, it was some sort of a bill was created and was sent to the parliament, but um, it didn't materialize. And then from 2010, we moved ahead. And then uh, we came to, and that's the way things are uh, in the classes. We teach you, always teach you how these bills are being made and how they are put on the public portal and anyone can represent it. And you are given 45 days to represent. So, so after 2005, it was 2010 and then it was 2015. So I just want to compliment ICMR, how, you know, how they have waited for such a long time. And this is the way, then came 17. So it was 5, 10, 15, and 17 again, an attempt was being made here. So uh, things were being made. And then uh, uh, in case you look at these chapters, these chapters are chapter 1, 2, and 3. So this is a bill of 16. In 16, it was attempted again. So the government has been trying to push it through, but it took some time. So it was in 16 when... Uh, it was again introduced. Then came, after 16, 17 came 20. So as you can see here, it was 
Bill 97 of 2020. It was introduced in Lok Sabha. So remember, it came to from cabinet. It went to Lok Sabha, and again, as I told you, uh, what is chapter one? What is chapter two? What is then chapter three, four, five, six? And these all have evolved over period of 21 years or 16 years. I, I must say they've evolved. The definitions are getting evolved. So the preliminary, the definitions are getting evolved. New definitions are coming now. So you realize that what was there four years back or five years back, things are changing. And those changes I would like to bring to your notice, not in great length as we do for our medical legal classes, but in the next 40, 45 minutes, uh, just tell you what is there in the, in the in the new guidelines. So here, I would like you to read this very carefully. In case I'm not audible to you guys, let me know. But this is a very important thing which was part of 2020. As you can see here, here important is AIT Bank. Our main disputes are always about AIT Bank, not about the clinics. Clinics are well regulated. But banks, when we need a third party reproduction, they may become slightly, we don't have a clear guideline. So we may go haywire. So we have to know. So in case you look at this ART bank definition, they were supply sperm or semen, oocytes or oocyte donors to us. So do you guys understand what, what does it mean? An ART bank was giving us oocyte donors. As I've taught you at in the classes, we have uh, we got a form M1, we got a form T, we have got a form um, R2, we have got a form O, A, B. So these are forms that are being filled. And then banks were giving us two site donors who used to come to our OPDs. And then we were stimulating them and taking out their X and doing our documentation. Am I clear to you guys? Do you understand this definition of ART bank? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Very important. Very important. This is very important. Okay. Then there are what are ART clinics? ART clinics. So ART clinics and banks are two different bodies. Which people completely confuse. ART clinics have to be in the separate, separate buildings. Separate. <laughs> They have to have separate ownerships. Uh, they have to have separate ownerships. Separate teams have to run them. They can't be done. An ART clinic can't be a bank and a bank can't be a clinic. This is what you have to understand. And uh, then as things are moving, as you can find that, then it went from Lok Sabha, it went to Rajya Sabha. And it, it happened in March 2021. And it was called report number 129. This you must remember how it all evolved. Bill 97 of 2020. Uh, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha report. In the Rajya Sabha, it's a report. And the bill is 20 of, as you can see here, is 97 of 2020. So bill number 97 and report number 129 are important for us. Then when to again was passed by Lok Sabha, this is very interesting now. It became Bill 97C. So in case you look at here, it was 97. Do you understand, guys? It was 97 here. So it went to Rajya Sabha, standing committees, came back to Lok Sabha again, and now it becomes 97C. So it started with 97, it became 129. And then came back at 97C with some journey happening here and there about which even, even, even we don't know. So 97C came from Lok Sabha signed on 1st of December. Now this again goes back as far as I know to the parliament, uh, to, the, uh, to the cabinet and then to and gets approval. And this is what we have. So the dates in case you look at it, it was 1st of December here, December 1st and 20th December. December 20th is so the first December, it was 97C. And on 20th December, it becomes Gazette. The Gazette means government has approved it. It has, it has published it. And as a result, it was brought, brought out in the public forum. And now we are at a stage where the chapter five, 
comes into play. I've told you stories of the traffic policemen and the policemen who can find, who can't find. I've told you stories about how the, the, the wife or the mother can be biased towards the husband and the child. I tell you, keep stories. But now, rules are same for all. Because you break the rule, you are contravening the laws of the state and we can be punished. How early is going to roll? I'm not aware of, but it's going to happen very, very soon. Government has given the guidelines. So moving ahead, this is the Gazette 20th December, and this has become Act 42 of 2021. It was 18th December, it was probably approved, and 20th December, it was brought out by Ministry of Law and Justice. It's become a law now. Are you guys understand what I'm saying? Are you understanding? Yes, sir. How, yes, sir. how, how Bill of 2020 became 97, it became 129, it became 97C, mm -hmm. and now on 20th of December, approved by Ministry of Law and Justice, and now it is called number 42 of 2021. This is what I'm going to tell you and take you, I want to take you through a journey. And this presentation will be given to you in the next half an hour or so. This is how they define it. So I would like to request you to just go through it. Just go through it. Now, issue here is prevention of misuse and safe and ethical practice. Two things are pretty important. And I tell you again and again this thing because IBF is a branch where as you all are seniors, I'm sure uh, we normally don't get uh, beginners here with us. We all are having our own hospitals, your own big gynecologists and doctors. IVF is one branch where you're sitting at your home and earthquake will shake you. You won't do anything, but your teams are so big. you got a front office, you've got executives, you've got your doctors working under you, you've got technicians, OT technicians, nurses, Someone does a fault. And they told you there were around 18 forms which we normally fill. MRD files we have spoken, any which we have spoken. Someone does a small error. And who's caught? Who will be caught? Anyone? The doctor. And, no, the, and executive. The director. The executive. The director. Executive. Director. 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 He'll be caught. So this is, as I told, I tell, I tell everyone, this like, uh, you just can't sleep over us sleep over it when you have an IBF unit. Of a cesarean, we don't bother. Doctor me, we don't bother. But IBF won't let you sleep. Okay, this is the background. And now coming to the chapter one. Chapter one, how does chapter one affect us? Chapter one, I've told you, chapter one is preliminary. So when you start reading the guidelines, which I'm going to send to you, I'm going to send to you all these things. I'm going to send to you uh, 2020, I'll send to you 97, 129, and we will also send to you 42. So chapter one ke baare mein, chapter one ko padiega, just underline chapter one definitions. And this has been brought out now, the bill is, this act may be called ART regulation of 2021. And regulation means it's now contraventions are not allowed here. You can't say, I don't know. Coming to the same definitions, you see technology, technology we already know, clinic we already know, I won't talk about the clinic. Look at the bank. Can someone make out something here? So the gummy donors are missing. Donors are missing. What can be the implications? Now probably the banks will be doing their own pickups and giving us the X maybe, or maybe government will work out something between the clinic and the clinic and the banks. But one thing is for very definite that the bank would be responsible for collection of gametes, storage of gametes and embryos and supply of gametes to the ART. So what we see from here is that by no means people can have the 
there are no walking donors. It will be gametes will come to you. How will they come? How a uh, government is going to do it? And that will become part of chapter 6, which very soon will get the rules. They've got rules of doing everything. They will tell you how to apply this. But as for <clears throat> now, donors are not coming to you as per this particular definition. Now, who is a commissioning couple? Sir, can I yes. ask a question, please? Please ask. Sir, uh, when we say that the gametes are coming from the bank, that means that all frozen will be used only. There yeah, will be no correct, fresh. Correct. correct. Like a brought. Like a brought also. They give, you, they give you frozen eggs. Oh, yeah. There's a possibility. Oh, okay. thank you, Daddy. It's but again, the, like how they are freezing will be there. Uh, no, 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 I, won't go, I won't go into these things. This is the wrong. I don't have any answer to this. I'm just going, taking through the guidelines. Rules are still pending. Chapter 6 will come. They will tell you how, how these, these things are being done. I just want to bring your attention towards the changing scenarios. And very soon after the things are crystallized, we'll talk to you again. But donors are not coming to you. Gametes are coming to you. This is you have to know now. Uh, who's a commissioning couple? A commissioning couple means an infertile married couple who approaches an ART bank or a clinic to obtain services authorized of the said clinic or bank. Fine. This is an infertile married couple. Remember. And now you have to define what is infertility. Initially, we were not, many people were not defining it. Even at earlier age, people were doing IVF <clears throat> or IUI. But before labeling anyone to be having infertility, we have to define infertility. And definition of infertility is given there just one year. Until there's some problem, it is one year. So we have to understand, now we have, we cannot carry out IVF or IUI for anyone walking in. You have to ask, are you infertile? And why are you infertile? And this is what I, I keep teaching people, Six Sigma. Do you remember Six Sigma? Anyone? What does Six Sigma say? How many Ys? Six. Y. Six, six, y. six Y. Six Y. Five Y. Always nine. You have to ask, are you infertile? Why are you infertile? Why have you come to us? So you just can't start doing working on any patient coming to you. This is one of the uh, things which have come, infertile married couple. Now, who is a woman? I just going to be done for any woman. A woman means any woman age above age of 21 years. So it was 18 and now it's become 21 years. This we all know. Any woman, any means the woman may be divorcee, may be a single, may be legally separated, can use authorized services of a clinic or a bank. The new thing which has come, a woman, initially there were a lot of debates for single woman, karna ke nahi karna hai, or how does a divorcee woman do? The rules were not very clear about this. But now a woman has been defined very nicely. Who can avail? A woman can avail. And it can be any woman. Any woman. So soon yeah. we'll have in this yeah. gazette of extraordinary Myers, we'll get the rules. Chapter 6 will come. Uh, sir, yes. Does any woman include uh, the community of LGBTQ no, 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 uh, no, no, people? No, 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 no. That we have covered in the classes. That is not the lesbians, gays are not. That was never allowed. Even as for the previous laws, it was never allowed. Even Article 14, contravention, it was never allowed. So here's a woman who's legally separated, a single woman, but not uh, same sex or queer or those sort of things. That's not allowed. Okay? Okay, sir. That was not allowed before also. That's not allowed here also. Women, we had a debate. We always have a debate why uh, a man is not defined here. Why a man can't do it, but I'll keep away from these things, but that we discuss in the classes so 8-10 hours, but here, any woman can avail. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, sir. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Chapter 2 is not pretty important for you, presently. When things crystallize, You'll be learning about them. Chapter 2 is basically about setting up state national boards. These boards will be set up along with the central government. And then they will they'll be regulating this the whole 
फिलोसफी ऑफ ए आर टी एक्ट बोर्ड बनाए जाएंगे एंड दिस बोर्ड इन केस लोकेटेड वील है नेशनल बोर्ड एंड देन वील है स्टेट बोर्ड तो गवर्नमेंट एम श्योर इज वर्किंग एट ब्रेक नेक स्पीड इन मेकिंग दोज दीज बोर्ड नेशनल एंड स्टेट बोर्ड आर बिंग मेड एंड दे वर एज पार्ट ऑफ सेक्शन ट्वेंटी फोर सेक्शन डिस्कस विद यू नाउ इन समाइम so these boards will also <clears throat> look after the surrogacy they are called national art and surrogacy registry so we'll have boards we'll have registries in coming few days and they are will be regulating our work so there are some time intervals given within uh, they will make it between say 30 days there are figures of 90 days when do we register is all things are here i didn't Touch on this topic here because uh, uh, let it come formally where these boards and state boards and national boards will be. Then we'll talk about them. But you should know that get ready, get ready to get yourself registered. And can someone tell me how do you get ready for this registration? Any one of you? How do we register? How how should we start planning our work? We have to fill the form. Ah, uh, start filling the ICMR form. ICMR. Don't Eight. submit it. Start filling it. Start filling Listen, it. Let's say we those who are already registered with the ICMR, they have to they, redo it. Yeah, yeah, they have to re, 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 re everyone have to re-register. That's what I am. All will have to re-register. But people who have not done it. Now we got two eighty people here. I am sure ninety nine percent will have done it. So start filling the ICMR form for your own knowledge. This form we have given to all. All the our form family. remains the same, sir. No, no, no. Everyone thinks it's going to change. i'm just saying that once you collect your documents for form 32 then the new form will be something like that only then you won't have to run around no so start filling your There's form there is one more thing can can someone like the bank and clinic is to be different entity huh? i agree but then the like same organization can have both bank as well as clinic yeah so in case you have a big organization a big hospital like hospital a big hospital The hospital have multiple business verticals, so they can have a clinic, they can have a bank, um, they can have um, automobiles, they can have any other thing. They would various verticals they have got. In case any organization has got multiple verticals, a different, it'll have a different CEO, it'll have a different CEO, it'll have a different PAN card, GST number, bank account. Like the ownership has to be different. Totally different. There should be no relation between the two. It shouldn't happen that you want to be a bank manager also, and you want to be a clinic director also. It can't happen. And so you one day told that they should not be under the same roof also. Yeah, definitely. You, if you open one shop and open it, this is what is the normal understanding. You, otherwise, it will be the same building. No, you are working together. Then they have to be separate. And then uh, you have to know that as far as possible, don't get into these bank. Banks at all. Banks are totally different bodies which government is going to regulate for you. Sir, how yeah. to get those forms, sir? Is it available forms will online? Forms will come. Forms will come. Abhi forms are not available. Forms are forms will come very soon to you. But here I am saying that start filling thirty-two page ICMR form. Start filling okay. that form. Field forms. Shall we send it, sir? No, no, nothing to be sent. Start okay. filling it so you know that how what all will be required. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, the suddenly they will ask you, and that time you'll be lost. What to do? So start filling the forms. Fine, and uh, uh, a mandatory for for even for uh, IUA centers or only for yes, 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 yes. That we cover in the classes all the time. Are you wherever you are handling the gametes outside the body? It will be mandatory for you. Okay. Even if we don't uh, do IUA, only for semen analysis center. For semen analysis, it will be a laboratory. For semen analysis, maybe it's not required, but for when you do an IUI, it is required. Okay, IUI it is required because you're handling whenever you handle a is gamete outside the body, it is required. Remember that. Okay, so these boards will be made very soon, and then we'll have these registrations. And uh, chapter three is procedure for registration. So I've told you avoid reading chapter two and three for some time till the time we don't have the proper guidelines. Just hold on for some time. But chapter three is pretty important. Chapter three says how to proceed further. It says that nobody 
will be able no sir, i i i'm sorry sir i just have one question like yes. when we say that the same organization can have both the bank as well as the clinic so then the ownership is same no 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 you not understand the point see ek somebody can have multiple businesses no but then the ownership would be same no sir no owner to koi na aise nahi hota you not getting the point acha okay. in case some, somebody has got somebody has got a lot of money and he opens two totally disconnected businesses they can do no so there is a doubt but the, uh, the gynecologist uh, uh, you, you uh, can't have two businesses you can't be there at both the places that's what i'm trying to tell you understood okay so, so the uh, business person can be no, different sir. but the clinic director would not be in the bank exactly the two okay. totally different things Okay. Different individuals, different teams will work. Okay. So uh, sir, what, sir, reg- yes. uh, regarding the same thing, uh, when I fill the ICMR, uh, there was a ICMR form, no, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I was form. enrolled in that. It is very clearly written that the art and the clinic can't be the same. Exactly. But uh, but in this act that uh, has come up, it is not mentioned. See, the rules will come very soon. the rules chapter 6 is not there that's what i'm trying to tell you it will come very soon government will define everything for you so is it going to be different so it's going to be the same as earlier it can different. be different also there will be different different forms will come to you okay different sir forms will come to you different teams will have to register for bank different teams for the clinic it will be entirely different verticals it will be okay, like so it is be, going to be different only it is not going to allow both to happen at the never, same time never okay. it will be like okay. it will be like uh, you can say that i don't know what the government finally brings in the rule but normally it will be like day and night it will be day and night it will be totally different okay okay sir so, thank okay. you so sanitizer the niche diye the you, you have to know that no one can give Bobby. any service until these are registered this is important for you mask ka jana pore na jaye niche i think people have to switch off please i request to switch off ha uh, sandeep can remove the people who are not uh, switching off please so all the applications for registration which are being made as you can see here they'll be ma- made to national registry through appropriate authorities and with the fees so how much are the fees what are the authorities which all forms are being made will be coming to you very quickly so to start with start filling the icmr form and get idea what all documents are required this is what i keep telling you again and again then within every clinic or bank which is conducting art partly or exclusively within a period of 60 days from date of establishment of the national registry apply for registration so the day we get the national registry online or these appropriate authorities are made within 2 months we have to apply for registration you have 2 months so good will be that you start doing it now only in the rough format and uh, get your act together then you have to say that then you have to quickly register and time given to you will be around 6 months to do complete everything and this you which is important is that no clinic or bank shall be registered under this act until the appropriate authority is satisfied that such a clinic and banks are in position to provide such facilities manpower manpower diagnostic infra all have to be given theek okay? hai and in case within 6 months the people are not registered by any reason then they'll have problem so they will they shall cease to conduct any counseling so at the earliest i think you should get your act together and as you have seen it so quickly we have moved from 20 to 129 to uh, uh, 97 97c and this 42 it'll happen within a month or so so keep yourself ready for these changes and then you'll be fine then on the receipt of such application within 30 days they will the the appropriate authority will act it will either grant or reject 
or give an answer that why they are not doing it. So 30 days, they will make a body and then give you 30 days to respond. It's not that you've applied and they are not responding. In 30 days, they will respond to you and take one of these particular uh, decisions approved, rejected, or give you a reason. Five years will be the time. Like for PCP and DT, you get five years, you'll get five years here also. And later on, you can keep and you have to pay some amount of fees. Like in PCP and DT, you pay, you pay some fees, pay some fees here and get ourselves enrolled. So in case we have, have a receipt of complaint, then we'll get a notice from them that why our registration should not be suspended. So now anything which we do can become contravention. Remember this too. Again and again, I'm saying contravention will start occurring within two or three months. Presently, the act has been made, but within three months, it will become complete contravention to your book. So be very careful and start molding yourself towards the appropriate way of working. Then, in case, as you've, as you've seen here, that in case, uh, after giving a reasonable opportunity of being heard, you'll be heard, given an opportunity. And in case they're satisfied that there has been a breach of provision of the act or the rules or regulations made thereafter, we are awaiting the rules now, actually. They're coming very soon to us. Uh, they do not satisfy the provision of the act. And it may, without any prejudice, any, any criminal action can be taken or they can cancel our registration. Exactly like PCP and DD. So after two to three months, we are, for one or two months, people can still take a breather, and which should not be taken also, I personally feel. Not doing anything which is against the contraventions.